Oh, he is now. He's happy for them. They're off. Got away first time. Away to a flyer as well for the Ultima Handicap Chase. They make the run towards the first of the 20 scheduled fences. Nose banded Happy Go Lucky is prominent with Tocqueville Ben in the red and yellow and Cloudy Glen and Fantasticus. And Tocqueville Ben took a bit of a chance. Uh, the first, ICO Madrick is the early back marker and they come on quickly to the second. It was Carl Philippe with the white sleeves who picked up perhaps just ahead, but Fantasticus in the black and white cuts the corner and he and Tocqueville Ben move on as they approach the third. Two, Carl Philippe and Cloudy Glen and Happy Go Lucky. Harper's Brook out wide in a pink jacket. They went to overdrive with the black cap and T clipper. The check colors down on the inside, crossing out over fence three. Nasalam in the green and white hoops is just in behind them as they sweep on down the hill for the first time. Monbeg Genius, meanwhile, has settled towards midfield in the green and blue with the red cap. The Morgan Duke wider out is just ahead of him. And then good boy Bobby, and they in turn are being followed by the Goffer as they move on towards the fence, taken on the descent before the water. And there would be about 15 lengths top to tail. At this stage, Oscar Elite is the back marker. Fanny and Destreval is just in front of him with ICO Madrick and Korak Rambler in the purple and yellow is among those held up. Over the water they go. Watching the tail enders get over it. And once again, Oscar Elite was the uh, last one to land. So on now towards the first of the open ditches. Fantasticus out jumped by Harper's Brook with a big leap. The Morgan Duke made a mistake at that one. Happy Go Lucky was a little close to it as well. Fanny and Destreval and Oscar Elite remain the final pair as they move on fairly swiftly to the next. And it was Harper's Brook in the white cheek pieces up on the outer who disputed it on landing with fantastic as Topville Ben in the red and yellow and the nose banded Happy Go Lucky. Carl Philippe is down on the inside tracking them at the top of the hill first time to inter overdrive the black cap nose banded T Clipper. Good boy Bobby the double green wide of Glamorgan Duke as they take the ditch at the top of the hill to Cloudy Glen and remastered a Monbeg Genius. Lascalan is three quarters of the way back at this stage just behind ICO Madrick. The wolf is among those held up in a pale blue jacket as they begin to uh, free wheel on down the hill and head on now uh, towards fence nine in the ultimate. It's Harper's Brook leading to fantastic as Topville Ben happy go lucky. Carl Philippe with the white sleeves T clipper into overdrive good boy Bobby. Remastered in the yellow sleeve jacket is next. Korak Rambler tucked away right down on the running rail. Spot the purple and yellow colors. He's got the goffer for company and also Monbeg genius. Then Glamorgan Duke and Nasalam and the big breakaway and three under through five who's out wide. Uh, the Wolf ICO Madrick still towards the rear of the field with Lascalan, Fanny and Destreval and Oscar Elite and they're about to take the turn which will bring Bring them to the end of a circuit in the Ultima. And it's Harper's Brook and Tom Cannon giving a lead to their 22 rivals. Fantastic as Topville Ben and Happy Go Lucky and the Nosebound are in closest attendance. Carl Philippe is next and then across from the rail to T Clipper into overdrive and Good Boy Bobby away to the left. Fast or slow in a dark blue and yellow jacket. Red Cap is inching a bit closer up through midfield. The Morgan Duke was a little bit slow at that one. And they come on swiftly now towards fence 11. Harper's Brook picks Picking up ahead of Fantastic as Topville, Ben, Carl Philippe, Happy Go Lucky, and T Clipper. They round out the leading half dozen. Into overdrive, the black cap is next. Cloudy Glen racing on the inside of Monbeck Genius in the blue and green with a red cap. Then remastered, fast or slow, good boy Bobby Korak, Rambler the Goffer, followed by three under through five. Nasalam and the big breakaway, uh, the Glamorgan Duke will be the next one over. Working back to the Wolf who made a mistake, uh, three under through five was in perhaps a little tight to it. I ICO Madrick is still towards the rear of the field. Lascala and Fanny and Destravel are the final pair. Uh, the big breakaway is just in front of them as they head on towards the uh, next plane fence. This is number 13 coming up to them. Harper's Brook, big leap, landed two lengths clear. Uh, to Fantasticus, watching the rest stream over nimbly enough. Lascala is just about last of all, and it's Harper's Brook leading Fantasticus at the water for the second time. Then Happy Go Lucky and Topville Ben, who's in the red and yellow. To Carl Philippe and T Clipper, Monbeck Genius right behind them. The Wolf made another mistake at that one, and they're moving on towards the penultimate dish. This is fence 15 in the Ultima. Harper's Brook, still a couple of lengths clear. 
to Happy Go Lucky, Tocqueville Ben Fantasticus, a dark jacket noseband of T Clipper. On his inner is Carl Philippe. Riding behind these, good boy Bobby on the outer, Monbeg Genius, remastered with the yellow sleeves. Uh, then Cloudy Glen and Nassalam, followed by Fast or Slow and the Goffer and Oscar Elite. Into overdrive, he's being pushed along. He's dropped back through the field. He's been passed by Korak Rambler, the purple and yellow last year's winner, uh, coming from a similar position at this stage to 12 months ago as they take the ditch at the top of the hill four out where T Clipper made a mistake and it's still Harper's Brook giving a bold sight in front about to free wheel on down the hill he's four lengths clear a fantastic as chasing happy go lucky is a very close third and then towards the inside Topville Ben is being pushed along Monbeg genius the red cap poised in behind the leaders on the descent T Clipper and good boy Bobby next to fast or slow and then the goffer who's pulled out wide in a blue and red jacket Korak Rambler sneaking through against the rail in the purple and yellow as they close in on the third last. Harper's Brook draws to it, collides in the air with Fantasticus, who was just coming through to challenge. Away to the left on the outer, Monbeg Genius, and further left, the Goffer are still getting into it. Fast or slow, dark blue with the red caps right behind them. Korak Rambler, purple and yellow will cut the corner, and they head back towards home with two fences left to jump. The white-faced Oscar Elite orange jacket has latched on as well. Monbeg Genius Genius and the Goffer now sweep through to take over. Followed through by Oscar Elite. Second from the left, fast or slow, and then Korak Rambler. Two out. The Goffer jumped narrowly ahead. From on the far side, Monbeg Genius. Here's fast or slow in the dark blue. Korak Rambler coming between horses to hold every chance. Four of them charging up the hill. Fast or slow. Here's Korak Rambler again for back to back successes in the race. And it's Korak Rambler who gets to the front. Idles a little, but he's going to inch home. And it's Korak Rambler again in the Ultima. From fast or slow, Monbeg Genius. The Goffer was fourth, and then Oscar Elite clear of T Clipper. Korak Rambler is such a huge challenge, and Peter Scudamore um, and Lucinda Russell are responsible for him. Peter, you ride this horse every day, don't you? Yes, I, I do. Not every day, but most days. And I, I'm, I'm, the reason I hesitated, I'm trying to think why. Uh, but he's such a character, I think. Very good man. I just want to think, you know, when I said to you about the road to Cheltenham and sort of how much I enjoy it and how much I learn from it, it's because I think there's, you can get an arrogance in my position. It's, it's, I think you know everything. And actually riding horses, the training from being a jockey, I thought I knew it. And then the more I spend time with them, the more I realise how little I do know. And, but I can be offer a slight kindness to them. And... I have a confidence around them. I'm not trying to be big-headed, but, but I ride with a confidence because I'm of, of an uh, age. And I th think he, he was, he sulked a little bit early in his career and, and, and I play with him and, and, and um, you know, he pulls out the stables, he stops, gets to the end of the barn, he stops. I mean, he bites me when I saddle up, but once he's out and go, he's happy. But you like to bring that out in, to bring their character out into them. And I think that's where he's got his confidence from, uh, you know, without, that's without the genius of Derek Fox, you know. Well, I mean, at first, I don't think anyone would ever describe you as arrogant, but <laughs> Derek Fox was saying how much confidence you give him and that the last words that you said to him filled him with confidence about the ride. Would you like to talk about Derek and his character and what he brings to your yard? Yes, so he, he's the most extraordinary man and, I, and it's not, he wasn't, I think he left school at 12, so he wasn't the highest educated person that ever came to me. But sometimes you can mistake that for not being very intelligent. And on a horse, he has an innate sense. And he's actually very, we, talk, we laugh about books and stuff now, which we would never have laughed about in the, at the time when he came over. And then another thing to ex extend to his, his character is there's a little boy called Ches went up to get the trophy when he came over from Sligo he couldn't do anything he was you know he was on he, he, his future wasn't great he couldn't ride and Derek said look I've got a young lad come over he can't ride he said I'm going to teach him to ride if he doesn't if he doesn't make it very shortly he will he, he'll be he'll be back on the boat to Ireland and um, honestly he's disciplined him and you know you you watch Ches is you know Derek says, you be out on time. He's running to be out on time. So it shows the character of the man. And yes, I, you know, I rode for great trainers like Fred Winter or Martin Pipe. And Martin, you know, if I was a football manager, 
I would try to instill because I learned off the great, you know, great trainers. So I always think, you know, somebody like Shankly, who really, really I enjoyed their way of motivating people is, is to give them confidence. And, and it, you know, occasionally I make mistakes. Lucinda makes mistakes. Well, I think she made a mistake once. But um, <laughs> Derek, there's no use shouting yeah, on somebody. You know, all, all he, all Derek wanted to do there, if he came too late, I, 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 he doesn't want me saying, well, you came too late after being a genius last year. So you've got to have the confidence if things go wrong. Uh, you go right. So that's what, and, and that's not intelligence on my part. That's just experience of, of having race ridden myself. And Lucinda Russell is here now. What were you just saying? Was the mistake that you made? I made a mistake, but I married it, which was a bit of a big. <laughs> that was a big mistake. Anyway, we, we'll, we'll move on from that one. I'm, yeah. Um, but you know, I've, I haven't been here to hear everything that you've been saying. But I think what you've got to remember is it comes back down to this man. That it's his. It's the way that he guides. He, he rides the horse every day. But it's the way that he leads the team of the boys and. Um, I leave him to do whatever he wants to do with them, but he instills a confidence in them and a, a desire to win it. But it's a quiet confidence, not an arrogance. It's it's just a, just being there, and um, you know they all work terribly hard. It's it's fantastic. It's, it's good. It's good ethos we have. You know, it's it's easy to say that you love it just now when you're standing with a check on the festival winner, but. Um, you know, it's good, so I enjoy what we do. The thing that always comes across whenever we talk to you, all of you, Derek as well, is the team. I mean, it's, it's so evident. This horse is very, very talented as well. Grand National next? Yeah, I mean, I think that's got to be the route. You know, he's he's uh, he's gone down history now doing this. He's, it's another way for him to come greater. It'll be, it'll be hard for Skew to watch because it is his favourite horse. But, you know, it, we des he deserves to have a crack at a race like that. He absolutely does. I'd love to talk to you longer, but the champion hurdle's coming up. So <laughs> all I'm going to do <laughs> is congratulate you both on a fantastic win and wish you the best of luck with the hoist and your on Friday as well. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank Thanks. You. Thank you. Another beautiful ride from Derek Fox and the first back-to-back -back winner of the Multima since on Tompa 2 in 2017. It is Coric Rambler. Many, many congratulations. That was exquisite. Talk me through it from your perspective. Um, yeah, well, uh, Peter Scudamore came in to me just before uh, the race half an hour for race and he just said to ride him something similar than last year and uh, not to change anything and just still keep him nice and, nice and patient on him all the way and uh, no he always just fills me with so much confidence when he gives me instructions because you know I, I think um, he understands he obviously understands the game so well and um, no listen the horse in absolutely spot on form uh, Lucinda brought him to Carlisle a few weeks ago to work him on uh, after racing and uh, he, he worked really well and um, no, it, he, he travelled so beautifully the whole way through the race and uh, uh, unbelievable really, I'm just delighted. You were quite a way back but all the time my eye was drawn to him, he was just going so well, were you able to pick your spot? Yeah, listen, uh, last, last year I was always pretty, fat, it was pretty better ground last year and he was always in top gear and it was only late on he got going but this year with the ground being a good bit slower he he travelled so much easier and he, he, he would uh, slightly idle in front so I found myself coming down the hill thinking not to go to the front too soon on him and uh, listen it just worked out beautifully um, he, he, he always travelled well and I was always happy and uh, no it was just, uh, just a pleasure to ride him really. Yeah, he, he idled up the hill didn't he? My job is, my work is done here. <laughs> yeah he kind of he picked up after he jumped the last and then just found 10 strides for the line. I thought it was never going to come because I just thought he was starting to have a look at the crowd and stuff. But uh, listen, he's a tremendous horse. He's um, he's just been a, a marvellous horse for me. Uh, you know, to get me two winners here and um, all the other races he's won along the way. And um, no, I feel very lucky to be riding him. He's a very talented horse. Clear, clearly the ground has helped, but he's grown up as well, don't you think, quite a bit this season? Yeah, yeah, I think um, I think he has. Um, but uh, no, listen, it's just uh, Lucinda had him in great form and it's just thanks to Lucinda and Skew for, for giving me the opportunities. Can he win a national? Uh, really looking forward to it now. Hopefully he come out of that well. And um, no, I think he'll stay well. And he, uh, no, I, I definitely think he can, he, 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 he's going to run a massive race in it. He hasn't got the classic run style to win a national, but Noble Yates blew that out of the water last year, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, I suppose, um, I suppose one for Erd like to be held up as well a wee bit um, so it, it, you know it, it can be done I suppose if you get a luck and run him but um, no look I'm just delighted about today and um, over the moon about today so uh, delighted really and there's a hoist in your to look forward to as well yeah that's it um, a hoist in your on Friday as well so um, no as I say it's, uh, it's just a pleasure listening to such a great team of horses and uh, as I say I feel very lucky to be riding them and it was beautifully delivered Derek you could, I think you can take a bow for the ride many congratulations well done cheers thank you thank you
Subscribe to Racing TV's YouTube channel now to watch more great races like this.